Hello and welcome back to a very sunny South Africa. In today's video I'm going to be talking about bug out clothing and why I rely on crag hoppers gear to get me through the wilderness unscathed. I'm going to be talking both about the men's ranges and about the women's ranges and why I think they're a great bug out clothing option. I'm Clarice, welcome to the Live Ready channel. Personally, I believe that clothing is the first layer of my shelter system. So it's really important to me to ensure that I've got the correct layering system going as well as the correct fabrics for the environment that I'm going to be finding myself in. Now, I really feel that Craig Hoppers has gotten this right, um, both in the textiles that they've used and in the way that they've woven those textiles together. Craig Hoppers also makes a concerted effort to reuse and recycle old plastic bottles in order to produce their clothing. God has given us this wonderful planet where we can enjoy nature, but he's also bestowed a responsibility upon us to take care of our planet. So I really think it's great if we can reuse and recycle things in order to make things like clothing but the crag hoppers range is not only a clothing range they've also got some really good outdoor gear so stick around if you're looking for some hiking gear or just everyday outdoor gear now I'm going to put all of the links for these clothes and for the things that I'm showing you today in the description of this video so if you do feel like doing a bit more research or you want to add any of the stuff to your bug out bag then go and check the description of this video for those links also if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet go ahead and do that now and give us a like and drop a comment before you leave the video now before all the men out there get really bored with the idea of going on a shopping spree, let's jump right into the men's section for a start. Just the way that they've sewn the buttons on, they've taped them on. So when I bought this shirt, because the one I'm wearing at the moment is a Crag Hopper shirt, I actually intended to change the buttons on it to brown buttons. For some reason I like white shirts with brown buttons. But when the shirt arrived, for the first time I noticed that there is actually no way for me to change the buttons. In fact, there is no way for the buttons to come off of the shirt. And if you get really annoyed by buttons popping off of a shirt, this is for you. So they've basically taped the button on um, with like a little tape that they've sewn on here. But it means that you can't take the button off, even if you wanted to. That means it's also not going to come off in the wilderness. And the last thing you want is to stop every half an hour to do gear repairs while you're in the bush. They've also added a lot of pockets and a lot of ventilation points to their fabrics and to their garments. This shirt also has a really large concealed chest pocket for an EDC pen knife or for your map. And they've also added a sunglasses wipe at the bottom of the shirt front. And before I go any further, like I said, um, this is a Nozzy Life garment, so what that means is it's insect repellent. They've used permethrin in the production of the fabric. So permethrin is an insect repellent that they've basically built into the garment and it lasts the lifetime of the garment. But this is the men's Nat Geo Nozzy Life Adventure shirt. They've also used some odor repellent patches in these garments, so you can wear this shirt for much longer than you'd be able to wear any other shirt before she starts complaining that you stink. The fabric is rated UPF 40, so you've got some sun protection along with the insect repellents of the fabric. And because it is a polyamide fabric, it is going to wick moisture. It's also lightweight and it has a little bit of elasticity in it. Now this is a ripstop weave, so if you're going through some really dense bush, and it rips then it's not going to tear any further before you can get your gear repairs kit out and sew your shirt up. If you are moving through really hot and arid conditions they've also added a solar collar. So this little flap over here flaps up so you've got that extended piece of collar that you can flap up to protect the back of your neck in the sun. On the inside they've incorporated drying loops. And these have come in really handy before where I've either done the washing at camp or I've ended up in a river and I've needed to dry my clothing in the bush. So these basically just have a press stud that clips open and what you do is you take that press stud, put it over a line, maybe you've got a ridge line up for your top um, or even just in a bush and you can clip it on there and then you hang your gear up or your clothing up upside down, let it dry and these garments really do dry quickly. 
and the ventilation port at the back over here, this flap, is also going to ensure that you've got enough air circulating through the shirt to keep you dry. If you are trekking through cold climates, then what you'd want to do is basically add something like a merino wool or a polyester base layer to this. These are the men's Nazi Life cargo trousers. They're really great because they've got this elasticated band. So if you are climbing over boulders or into caves or things like that, the elasticated band really is going to allow that much more mobility. They've also added in a lot of extra features. If you're trying to stow away something like car keys or a cell phone, you can clip it into this waterproof bag. It basically zip seals in there. Now I wouldn't go swimming in the ocean with it, but it is good enough for you to trek through a river quickly or if you're just in really wet conditions. They have also added YKK zippers to their trousers. Crag Harbors also makes quite a wide variety of waterproof gear. When I go out into the wilderness, whether I'm filming, camping, or just out on a day hike, I opt for crag hoppers because I know I've then got a UV protective system that is insect repellent and waterproof. So this is a Lundale jacket. It's one of the newer ones that I've recently gotten and I really love this jacket. It's 10,000 millimeters hydrostatic head pressure so it does really well in bad weather. I've also got a pair of Airedale trousers. I really love this jacket and I really love Craig Hopper's products. So that's why I'm putting it in this video is because and this is not a sponsored video by the way. It might not sound important to you now but when you've been out in the wilderness for a prolonged period of time the last thing you want to deal with is being wet or being full of insects that you could otherwise have prevented um, by wearing something that has an insect repellent barrier. So it really is worthwhile to me having a garment that keeps mosquitoes and ticks at bay especially if you're entering a malaria zone or somewhere that you might end up with Lyme disease um, from tick bites it's really worthwhile having that extra layer of protection and because they're so breathable I don't actually mind wearing a long sleeve shirt or even a long sleeve pair of trousers if I am in warm conditions knowing that I can wet it it's going to dry quickly it's going to wick moisture we have actually done that before trekking through really hot conditions we've actually gone and like completely douse ourselves in water um, in our crag hoppers clothing and then just trekked through the hot bush like that this is the ladies nozzy life adventure to shirt and if you're looking for something to buy your girlfriend or your wife for your next camping trip or for your next hiking trip go and shop at crag hoppers i do find the garments to be true to size um, but they do also provide measuring keys on their website so if you're unsure then go and have a look at those. The pockets on the front are once again just closed with um, press studs whereas the actual shirt itself has again got the taped buttons. This is where I'd like to compare it to this shirt over here. This is an African nature shirt. Um, it really is a very nice shirt but it's one of our local brands. When I bought this shirt I think I wore it for all of a half an hour and one of the buttons popped off. Within another three hours, a second button popped off. And to me, I thought, well, this is a really nice shirt. It looks quite well made. It's also got the breathability patches. And it's also got the nice pockets on the front. But the last thing I want is to put a shirt on and within three hours, I've already lost two buttons. And that's something that you just have to consider if you are going through the bush. You are moving a lot more. You are walking through more tough um, terrain and your clothing really is gonna take a beating. So you really want to ensure that you've got some tough clothing especially for your bug out bag. The ladies adventure shirt like the men's Nat Geo adventure shirt also has a sunglasses wipe on the inside of the shirt front. We've got the moisture control and the odor control patches. This is a Nazi Life shirt so it's got the permethrin in it, a solar shield collar and the solar shield fabric that is also again UPF 40. What they have done that's really nice on the ladies garments is they've added a side pocket over here with the little clip system that's got the clip and the d-ring so that you can ensure that if you've closed something in your pocket the zip can't open by itself you actually have to unlatch it over here before you can open the zip so that's really nice for stowing away valuables and the drying loop again with a press stud just opens up and it basically just closes over whatever you want to hang your clothes on to dry. This is a tailored fit so make sure that you check that sizing guide and at the back you can see that they've put these seams in to ensure that it fits nicely and it's also once again got the ventilation flap at the back with the mesh on the inside. Pretty much all of Crag Hopper's shirts has the side button here so as you can see it's really easy to fold it up. Um, the only thing that I don't like so much about this ripstop fabric is it doesn't have a lot of elasticity in it even though there is a little bit of give. The 
The trousers tend to have a lot more elasticity in the fabric than do the shirts though. Further to the ladies range, they make some really nice trousers. Now, as you can see, some of our trousers do actually have some rip marks on them. You'll have noticed on the men's trousers that I showed earlier as well. So this was from me tracking through the bush in really thorny places and it did actually rip my trousers. I would still give these trousers an 8 out of 10 for durability because even so, both of these trousers have been worn since and neither of them have ripped any further. It is bad that I haven't actually gone and fixed them yet but sometimes you just don't get around to it, right? Anyways, um, I do think that they would do really well to make the fabrics for the trousers a little bit more durable. I do really wish that Craghoppers would add some more reinforced knee and butt patches to their clothing. And I also wish that they would make waterproof items in more colors than just black. Once again, we've got a zip pocket, but then on the inside, they've added what is a little sunglasses wipe. And I really have found this very handy in the, in the bush before. The shirt also actually has has a sunglasses wipe on the inside. I've also made good use of that one. So again, really cool features that you can actually make use of in the bush. I must admit that I've got a serious preference for trousers that have side pockets on the side of the thigh. The reason why is it's really easy to stow things into them and to reach that and it doesn't get in your way if you're trekking over boulders or if you're going uphill, especially cell phones and things like that. And then on the inside here they've added an RFID pocket. So if you are carrying a credit card or anything like that and you're going through an urban environment in these trousers by the way they're really nice to travel in um, then your card can't be scanned through the RFID pocket. Your belt hoops double up as a place that you can hang your trousers onto to dry and then they've added this elasticated band over here so that you can actually close it nice and tight around your ankles preventing insects from climbing into your clothing. If you're curious what kind of interesting name Craghoppers gave to these trousers, they are the Ladies Pro 2 trousers. Craghoppers puts a lifetime guarantee on some of these garments and I really think it's worthwhile opting for something that is good quality, especially for your bug out bag where you're really going to need it. So this is a Ladies Adventure trousers. It doesn't have the Nozzy Life built into it, but it does have Nozzy Defense built into it. The difference between Nozzy Life and Nozzy Defense is Nozzy Defense basically has just a weave that keeps the insects, biting insects, from actually penetrating the fabric. I've also made a video about Craig Hopper's Salado High Boots in bug out footwear. I'll link it here so you can go and check that one out. They've added what they call a crawler guard. It stows in the tongue and once you take the shoe off you basically just cover the top of the shoe and that keeps things like scorpions and spiders and snakes and things that seek warmth um, out of your shoes once you've taken them off. These boots also come in at just over 500 grams a pair which is really lightweight and great to add to your bug out bag because you're not going to add a lot of weight but at least you've got a decent pair of shoes waiting for you in your bug out bag so if you don't have time to change you've got a change of clothes and you've got a change of shoes throw some socks in there and a nice waterproof jacket and you're good to go for bugging out now after filming the survival skills africa video i did notice that i have a big gash in my boot it hasn't penetrated all the way through but it has basically clipped off the top fabric over there. But any shoe that has a little bit of fabric on the side is at some point going to get worn out, especially if you go climbing over boulders the way that I do. So nothing is going to last forever. But if you do have a product that has a lifetime guarantee on it, you can send it back to the manufacturer. It's also really great to know that the products that you're wearing, the clothing and the garments, the shoes, and all of the accessories that go along with it are really well made and durable. It is going to give you that much more peace of mind knowing that your gear can keep up with you. These are really great if you like to set your tents or your shelters up with trekking poles because they've got this added feature here that's actually supposed to be like a monopod so you can basically screw a camera onto that. We basically put the awnings grommet and a guy line onto that and we secured it by putting the top over it again so you don't have to try and figure out some interesting way to secure your tent or your top um, to your trekking pole in order to set it up in a TP style. Um, so that was really useful. It does actually come with a tip protector, um, which you can just remove or put back on. 
these tracking poles also extend to a full 135 centimeters which is really nice and tall especially if you're going to be using it to set up a top or to set up something like an awning if you're interested you can go and check out the video that i made on layering for survival where i speak a bit more about layering for cold temperatures and what you can do to ensure that you stay warm in a cold climate some of these fabrics and some of these items can also be incorporated into colder climate conditions I hope you found some real value in this video and that you've enjoyed it. Remember to hit the like button and until the next time, live ready.